What's up everybody? I'm Sean from Bullman Outdoors. And I'm Devin from Bullman Outdoors. Devin's already been hunting with me for a handful of years. He's been in the woods with me basically his whole life. And um, he's been hunting squirrels. He's had some success hunting squirrels. Um, he's hunted birds after uh, starlings and and uh, what's English, English Take an aim now, make sure you can see your sights and where you need to be. And he likes to shoot frogs and um, stuff like that. He's, but this year we're going to do something totally different. And Devin is going to be learning the art of mobile hunting. And we're teaching Devin everything from shooting his compound bow to everything climbing, mobile climbing, and hunting with a saddle. So we're going to be documenting the whole the whole process, everything from Devin getting his first bow to learning how to get in and out of the saddle to learning how to put uh, the sawn approach tree steps on the tree, how to hang a platform. We're probably going to do that. We're going to have to see how that goes. He is just 11. So if you're interested in mobile hunting, uh, especially saddle hunting, especially learning saddle hunting from a, from a kid's perspective, um, we're going to try to cover everything um, saddle related and mobile hunting related. So um, what was it you said to do? Go ahead. All right, if you like this video, Please subscribe, hit that like button, and leave us a good comment. Thank you. Is that it? That's it. Alright. Do, do what he said. <laughs> okay, here's Deb's initial time shooting the bow. Not using the release yet. It's actually a, a right-handed bow. He's a left-handed shooter, but we're trying him out. Shooting right-handed to see if, you know, just to get him started. To make sure he's going to want to shoot and he can shoot and any reason. Not to. This is his fourth time he's drew back and shot an arrow. I don't have him anchoring or anything yet. He's just drawing back, shooting a bow, and uh, getting a feel for it. How you, how's it feeling? Good. Feels good. You look good. Shot. This will be your fourth arrow. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and draw it back. Shoot. <laughs> then Timber goes and pulls it. He says he wants to shoot. Can't get it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Give it to Bubba. You want to shoot? Yeah. I want you to shoot. Let's we'll get you a little bow. The new killer on the bow. Good day, Bubba. They're like, oh my gosh, get out of here. It's crazy. What do you think? It's awesome. <laughs> To put your lineman's belt on here. Okay, now pull it a little bit tighter. Okay. Pull this. Okay, we got our lineman belt attached, adjusted. Um, now just step up into those steps and lift that step, that rope up with you as you go. Okay, so you good? Feel good? Yeah. Okay, now take your, now this wants to be about, have that loop, oh, maybe about eye level. We'll start about eye level or so. And then now take your bridge. And this is where I think we may have a problem is the, the length of your bridge because you are much smaller. We have ones that are just messed up. Oh, can you pull that out a little bit? Okay, now lean back. Okay, now pull out some more. Yeah. Lean back. Now we almost have weight on that. You pull it out a little bit more and get put weight on it. Just do it real slow. Yeah. 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 Are you in your saddle? Yep. Okay. The cat's gone. What do you think? How's that feel? That's in a, you're in a full grown size saddle and it, to me, I don't see any reason why you couldn't hunt out of it if we just shorten your bridge up a little bit. Right. Here she is. A diamond prism. Oh, this is a lot lighter. Mm-hmm. Wow. He's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Drop back. 
That oh, yeah. was so easy uh -huh. compared to my mom. That's awesome. We'll have to take that draw link down a little bit. That's awesome. Get her set up for you. <laughs> what did you say you're going to do with it? I'm going to kill a buck. <laughs> or a doe. Whichever one I want to eat. Probably a doe. Uh, Those are better to eat. Yeah. How many arrows have you shot out of that bow? Six. We've just got him anchoring, and um, looks good. This is his first day with this new bow, and I thought this. I thought the draw length was a little long, but it, I think it might end up working out pretty good. We'll have to see when we get the release. Him holding the bow, he was kind of standing funky, but I just had him anchor his on the string with his nose, and. Look, he actually can see through the peep sight, and that makes a world of difference. And it actually looks really good, and and uh, he's gonna be able to kill a deer with this thing. <laughs> Need to get that release. That's our next step. Is the release. And each time you shoot, you gotta tighten. Probably maybe tighten up your field tip. So if I was aiming for the center right now, uh, go ahead and do it, and we'll see what happens. That's where I've been aiming. Right? Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay. So I need to aim up there in the corner, right? Um, go ahead and shoot these next two aiming right in that center and we'll see what kind of group you get. Boom. You know what a group is, right? Yeah. Whenever you shoot them really close together. Well, a group may not be close together. A group, you can have a big, you can have a bad group. You're starting a pretty good one there. A good group is kind of where you can rub them all together at the same time. That's it, brother. Get your hands around them. That's a real good group. Nice. Can you get your hands around those? Pretty close, huh? Maybe it used to. Yeah, you can grab them twice. Looks good though. Coming along. I think by October you're gonna be in good shape. What do you think? Probably. Gotta get up some trees now. What we gotta do? Baby weeded the watermelon today. I'm a little concerned for its existence. Looks nice. Just hope all the little curly cues didn't get torn out and cause any kind of problem. He's pretty chestnuts, persimmons, milkweed, native grasses. All right, go ahead. Boom. You know what a duo is? We're gonna be a dynamic duo. No, I don't. It's not like I'm five. Remember that one time when you shot your arrow right in half? Yeah. That's, that's neat, but it, it's never really all that Yeah, because you not had to spend more neat. money on a new arrow. Yeah, that's not cool. But means you're a good shooter. <laughs> well, you could just be lucky on that one particular shot, but it does happen more to people that shoot good. That looks good, brother. That looks real good. That looks real good. I'm real super happy with the start of this bow. And uh, just keep on shooting. I can't wait till it's deer season. <laughs> and I have a big buck on my watch. <laughs> I think we should call this channel Devin's Underwear. Devin's underwear. Because now that I'm thinking about it, in every single video, I've taken nothing in my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we could. Maybe we should try to work around that. I think maybe arrows. we can try getting some clothes on. Yeah. <laughs> There's two arrows in you. Wish we had that release. I guess we'll get it. I'm just excited that you're anchoring. I'm a little. 
more practice for the youngster. He's practicing shooting off the pole, but first we got to practice drawing off the pole so, yeah, out of the saddle. So go ahead and draw without your release because that's still a new thing. Hmm, how's that feel? Can you let it down? All right, here, aim at me like you're going to shoot at me. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah, that's the thing. You've got to keep it to not make sure it doesn't do that. Like it? It's comfortable? It's a big old man-sized saddle, but it looks looks fine and dandy to me. Okay, here's Dev's first day shooting the release. A little harder to pull back. We need to take a couple of inches out of it. But he's effectively making it happen. How's it feel? What would you say when you first, the first time you shot it with power? Power. It was really scary. It felt, <laughs> it felt a lot more powerful, but it was scary. <laughs> scary. My, my heart pounded because it felt a lot loud, louder and stronger. Yeah. So that was really scary. Timber just wants to mow. Hey, buddy. What do you want to do? Oh, okay. You want to shoot another one? Yeah, we're between, we need to take a couple inches out of that draw, but the, the um, Allen wrenches that I have go from two and a half to three, and I need one in between those two, so I'm not sure what um, what I'm going to need. I'll just have to get a different size of Allen wrench from somewhere. Lost an arrow. Do what? Maybe we can see what the bird. Did y'all see that? <laughs> Set one into orbit. <laughs>